Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, people. the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blachowicz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it with his opponent right if he can make contact he can drag this fight to the mat i expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab with his kicks to make this a stand-up affair oh beautiful jab there it's one thing to have length of course it's another to use it effectively beautiful job with that jab. yeah he fixed it all up there's no tell on that leg beautiful kick. combination there by nermago medov 
Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Blahovic. Lands a big right hand early. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the Smitty Octonauts, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. 26 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right hand upstairs. Just over three minutes to go. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well-placed kick there by Blahovic. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Ooh, I, I don't do that as well as you do. It. And he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> so good. Right on the button. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, effective strike there by Blahovic. Beautiful body kick. Oh, man, that could have felt Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Watch out, that left is coming right behind that jab now. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout with a head kick that at least partially landed oh my goodness he got kicked in the head and he's still standing nice kick. You guys are going at it. big kick lands under a minute to go well the right hand has been there at times not that time Wahovich gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Over and over, he's landed the big body kick. Finds his range with the jab. That right hand landed. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice one, two there. Twenty seconds to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. from that last round, DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Great about fight. his powerful kicks, Great. how he attacks all Great. sides of the body, the head, the legs. 
a good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Just missed with the left there. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ovich gets caught by the elbow. Oh, okay, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Wachowicz gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Nermago Menov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. And a nice jab there, Chip. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Got clip with the right hand. Wachowicz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Well, the numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 97 total strikes have already landed for Jan Wachowicz. And striking with 48% accuracy tonight thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Punch over the top. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nermago nice. Medov gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. Again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Just misses there with the left. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Meadow. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Bois Straight punch land. Bois lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Marco Medov gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Misses again with a right punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Round three next. 
All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. Great he has fight. to stay the course Ready. next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks. Oh, oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Big punch, man. Blocks the shot. Doubling up on the jab. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Blahovich. Look at him lift his hip into that kick. Blahovich's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. So making 169 total strikes have already landed for Jan Blahovich. And striking with about 48% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he's got it going now. In there, DC. Another punch landed. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Better defense, better defense. Get that right hand That kick blocked by Nermago Medoff. He's throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice. Just reached the midpoint of the fight. Nice straight punch. Liberty. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Get out of there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Yes. Trying to establish that jab once again. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Nice punch lands over the top. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. What a tricky head kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Huge right hand! Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice.
nice jab by Nurmako Medov. Just misses with the jab. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. For him now, you see the cut on his cheek. He's gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. Next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to go. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Right hook to the head blocked. And able to... Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by knockout, John Blackwell. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win.